What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Chris. That would be me. Let's make sure we're recording. We are. Right. Before we get too far into it, uh, I'm just kind of experimenting, making, I guess you'd say a snack. I do not have the right stuff to do everything with, so we're just going to go with what we got. Ignore the dirty counter, ignore the dirty counter over there. You know, children listen for about as long as a goldfish. Goldfish might even listen longer. And you know, sometimes chores don't get done. But whenever you're trying to teach them, uh, you know, how to do certain things so that they can actually get tasks complete, they don't want to do them. Hell, I don't want to do them. I don't want to do a lot of stuff I do, but you know, we, we all, we all do it anyway. That's the part they're missing and that's the part I'm trying to teach them. But with that little rant out the way, we're going to take an angle y'all down some. I just think we can turn right. I need it. There we go. There we go. Uh, that's pretty decent right there. I'm gonna slide you up a little bit, get you nice and close to cut more. I'll have a cut more just so we have a clean surface to work on that we can dirty up and then wash real easy. So, don't know if y'all can guess what we're doing, but we got our tortillas. Some decent sized tortillas. We've got our pepperoni from Sam's. So I hope it's real. The sauce, I'm not entirely sure about, but we're only gonna use a little bit of it. I'd really have marinara, but this is more of a spaghetti sauce. I think it'll still work though. I've only got a little bit of this right here, this Mexican plastic cheese. You know, it, it says it's real cheese, but, or cheese blend. But, you know, we know nothing in America is technically healthy for you if it comes from a store because they let them over process and everything else. And I'm going to shut up and quit ranting about that as well. So we're going to kind of do like... I don't know, pepperoni roll-ups, uh, kind of our own version of a taquito, something like that. You know, and I guess the best way to do that and to show you exactly what I'm talking about is to go ahead and see if we can't get some tortillas out of here. Because they love to stick. I don't know why tortillas they love to stick together, but they do. I believe these are the flour tortillas, not the corn. So, you know, we're we're as authentic as we are Espanol, and I'm I'm definitely not Espanol. I don't know, but a few words of that. I would love to be able to speak it one day, but I never found a teacher that was worth it now as far as teaching it. Because whenever you're just handing out workbooks and stuff like that, that ain't no way to do it. I think that might be enough. I don't know. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just learning. Yeah. Don't want it too heavy because we're just trying to get, you know, this, this flavor. Because it's kind of the same as marinara, but absolutely nowhere close. So we don't want it exactly because we're not making pizza, but we are making something. Open this. Come on now. 
probably opening it from the wrong end. Pepperoni. Ooh, that's some nice pepperonis. Look at that. Just, well, let me hold it in front of the camera. You might be able to see a little bit better. That's some nice pepperonis. I want it kind of thick with pepperonis, but I'm not really totally sure of how to do what I'm doing because it's kind of like the first venture into this experiment. So, you know, I want it plenty on here, but we also want it, uh, We also don't want it too thick so that uh, we can roll it up because we're going to do a couple of these. Probably more than a couple, but you know, a couple is a pretty good generic term. So, you know. I've been watching some cinnamon toast can. I've been watching Miss Katie's cooking. And I think uh, we can definitely, definitely uh, uh, evolve that. Let's see here. Should we start from this end? I don't know. Because I still don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing. Don't want to tear, so go lightly. Go lightly, because you don't want to tear. And we are still tearing some. But there, that's, uh, that's basically the, not the finished product, but that's, that's where we're going. Now, I'm going to set this in the pan that I'm going to cook it in. This pan is not big enough. So I'm going to set this back over here real quick. I'm going to take this pan that I'm now dirty. Take the cheese back out, put it back over here. I'm gonna take this pan and put it in there, and I guess I've done the dishes in a little bit because I was hard hit it. So now, I think we got a proper pan. I hope that'll work. I'll just sit right here. That way I can do a little at a time here. I don't like that one's. Yeah, it is. That one's like coming apart. Because these are very well stuck together. These two, anyway. Lay that one out. Get that up there. Marinara, not marinara, but it's gonna still pass grade, I believe. Well, and last time I feel like we didn't go quite enough. This time, I feel like we might have done just a little too much. I think it's going to work out though. It's all going to work out in the end. Alright. Got that. Yep.
I'm very hungry too, so I'm surprised I have the patience to sit here and do this right now. I'm surprised I'm not just eating just the pepperonis. I'm saying the heck with the rest. Mexicano. You don't want to get off of there. Goodness. What's wrong with you? This is uh, something that you would say that you would probably throw together for the kids. But, uh, I was wanting some pepperoni, and the only way I could think to get me some pepperoni without just eating pepperoni was to do this here. Do y'all agree? I don't know. What kind of pepperoni ideas do y'all have? Roll, baby, roll. Yes. Got number two. Two. These are pretty good size, too, so I might want to make three. I think three would be plenty. If not, I, I'll just eat some pepperonis afterwards. I'm going to have to get some more cheese, though. But I think we have some more. I don't know what kind. Stromboli, pepperoni, pizza, Italiano. Mm. By the way, anybody finds my channel, you want to do react videos, you want to make fun of it, go for it. I do not care. It's all in good fun. And we're all just on here to have a good time and express ourselves creatively. And it is also raining pretty darn good outside. So, I ain't really no outside activities going on today. So if you made it this far through the video, I want you to comment below, pepperoni, because that is the best pizza. Just dough, meat, sauce, cheese. Other pizzas are fine. <sighs> Crap. I just rolled that up with no cheese. I don't think it'll stick very well with no cheese. But we will try it anyway. What do y'all think? I think that's a mistake. But I don't feel like trying to undo it. Tortillas. I'm gonna close them back up. I'm gonna set them on top. I'm gonna take a 
sauce. Put it back in. So we can use it again for later. Pepperoni's gonna go in a Ziploc bag and gonna go to the bedroom. Are those children just retarded? Sometimes I wonder about mine. I mean, there's a box, and it's clearly got perforated lines on it to show you where you open it at. But instead, they just rip the box apart. That's that's exactly how you get into uh, you know your, your box there. Just makes so much sense. Okay, that is all sealed up. Let's move y'all over here. And you know what? Now, uh, I think that's the spot. Turn it around like this. You can see a little bit better. Get you closer, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray these a little bit with some pan. on them currently there's no seasons or anything either so let's see about a plate because we're gonna have to plate these afterwards I want to get the all good and melty figure out how like I'm gonna flip these I guess that's gonna be trial and error too I don't know now let me know if you made it as far in the video and you like your cooking with Chris content uh, give it a big old thumbs up and comment down below fire cuz what we got going on right now Fire, talking about some fire. We ain't got enough fire. No, I don't want to undo you. I'm gonna scoot you over. Here's stuff going on. It should be. I'm not put off heat in there. Good catch. Right between your legs. I don't know why I'm using so much Pam. It just seemed like a good idea. Lord, I apologize.
know. You're not supposed to tuck the pan, dummy. This one is determined to try to come on, dummy. Got to grease the pepper on it. Coming out of some of them. Now, when I'm done, I don't know. This is cooking with Chris, so I may or may not go ahead and take a bite. I really prefer not to burn my mouth because my mouth's a bitch and I don't like heat. So, what I might do is go ahead and put it on a plate. And then take a short of you know, me taking a bite. Just say it. Because this, this might be a little bit warm by the time we get there. You're going to find out here in just a minute, though. That's how it won't look right there. If anybody thinks this is a good idea, let me know. If anybody thinks I can't cook at all, let me know. I think this is only my second view on the Cooking with Chris channel, so there is that. I wish I could tell if the cheese is all melted yet. Fire Talking about the fire Just talking about the fire Time to take them off. We don't want to get too crispy. We ain't making grilled cheeses here. Whew, that was freaking hot. Alright, let's turn that off. Alright everybody. They are too hot to hold in your hand. Because I'm a wimp. But there we go. There are my pizza, roll up, taquito, whatever you want to call them. I'm about to go eat this, enjoy it. So, once again, thank y'all so much for watching the videos. Thank you so much for liking, subscribe, comment, and telling everybody about it. Posting on the, the postable stuffs. You're awesome. Thank you. We'll see y'all next time, and we'll leave y'all with a crock pot lima beans mixture.
Peace out.